AU guys. Um, hope you all are having a great day. Um, this short sermon is called The Dark Room. Um, I've been in a strange season. I've been in a season of great progress and great setback as well. And, and I'm understanding that it all is working together for my good. And while I was, I was thinking and uh, meditating over my life, not um, the Middle Eastern uh, take on meditating, but um, I was just contemplating, would be a better word, over my life, and I was um, contemplating over the season that I'm in uh, myself, and it is a season of great progress and great setback at the same time, and the Lord brought to my attention, Holy Spirit be with me as I, as I preach this, the Lord brought to my attention um, a dark room where film is developed and I I looked at a couple of videos um, about dark room and how film dark rooms and how films are developed um, so I'm not an expert um, just as a side note but from what I can gather from the little research I've done, uh, dark rooms are uh, rooms with special infrared light that help photos to develop. And as I was watching this video, I found it very interesting that sometimes for films to develop, you need positive and negative Im images. Um, so basically, um, the picture's taken and um, the positive and negative image imagery on the, on the photo comes together to create the whole picture. And the Lord says to me, the Lord said to me, you're in the dark room. And sometimes when you're in the dark room, when I say dark room, I mean the season of development. Sometimes when you're in the season of development, you can't see the whole picture. But the Lord said to me to tell you that he's putting the positive of your life and negative of your life together to create something beautiful. And sometimes, sometimes when times get dark and you don't feel God, you're like, that's it, he's deserted me. But most times, it is in the darkness, in that time of development, that he's working the most and you can't see it and you're like lord what are you doing lord why am i going through this he is developing you he's making you stronger he's putting you through the fire because he he wants to see if you know you can take it he wants to get you ready for your next level and also, he wants to know if you will be faithful to the level you're on. Because I find sometimes we are so busy waiting for this big uh, purpose and for this uh, dream to come to pass. 
that we miss God on the level that we're on. And most times, if we operate well um, on the level that we're on, he can elevate us. And usually, when it's when we're in the dark room, when times are tough, he, it's for development and our betterment. But we don't see it like that. We see it as, oh my gosh, I'm going through hell. What, I'm go what am I going to do? But he's saying that the dark times you're experiencing right now are to develop you for when you experience brighter times and when you're on, on on a higher level so that you know how to operate on that higher level and so and also that you would appreciate the quote unquote lower level you're on so he's not he wants to um he wants to see how you'd handle that $10 an hour job before he get he gives you that million dollar a, a year job or that million dollars. Because if you can't handle 10, how are you going to handle a, a million? He says, if you were if you are to be faithful over a few things the smaller things the things that seem to be insignificant i will make you ruler over much but if you can't handle the few things how is he going to make you ruler so hang tough in this dark time in this dark season it's a season of development when you the most powerful um i was watching stephen Furtick the other day and it's so funny when i'm watching preachers because i'm not only listening to what they're saying but god's always also talking in my ear and when stephen stephen Furtick said um when the times get dark be grateful because God, God is um, planning to do something. And the Lord was speaking to me. What, and he said, what people don't understand about dark times, it's a time of perfecting. It's a time of growth. It's a time of experiencing me in a new way. It's, um, and he gave, the Lord gave me, this analogy he said when you're a child you have to be told everything um everything to do like you have to be taught how to brush your teeth you have to be taught um those little things how to dress yourself how to feed yourself how to walk by yourself but when you become an adult you don't need so much anymore from your parents so could it be then the reason why you don't feel god is he knows he can trust you with more he knows that you you won't put on him so he doesn't have to hold your hand and he'll say like he's a good father um and he'll say um i don't need to hold your hand anymore so I can leave you alone while I work on your behalf. So many people who think that God has left them alone, it's be, first of all, he hasn't. That's a lie of the devil. And the reason you feel that way, and the reason he doesn't have to hold your hand anymore, it's because he trusts you with more responsibility. If he was constantly talking, to you and you constantly fit, uh, physically felt his presence, you, it would still be like you're, you're a baby and you need your your uh, daddy to hold your hand across the street. 
uh, where he says, uh, when you were a child, you spoke as a child. You did all these things as a child. But now that you're a man or, or a woman, um, you put away childish things. So it's the growing process of your relationship with God. In the dark times, you experience more. You learn more. You learn how to trust more. You understand how God speaks to you. You understand um, more fully about his presence. You understand a lot. So it's not that he, he, he left you. He just, he just is giving you more leeway to understand the new level of who he is and what he can do for your life and what he can do through you. And sometimes, so it's not that God has left you, it's just that he trusts you and it's a new level of faith. Sometimes we want this new level or we, we're like, Lord, we need more of you, we need more of you. And his question is to us, can you handle more? Can you handle can you handle the mustard seed faith you already have? Um, if you can't handle the mustard seed faith that you already have, or the measure of faith I've already given to you, how are you going to handle more faith? I think sometimes when we ask God for more, we don't really understand um, what that means. It sounds great in the moment. But more responsibility creates more expecta expectations of God. So you said you wanted more faith, so he'll expect more of you. And, um, and he, he wants to give you more. But his question to you today, are you ready for the more he wants to give you. Can you handle uh, when you don't feel God at every moment? Can you handle when you, when you feel like he's left you? Can you handle it? Can he give you more leeway? Like it's like a parent with a child. Now I'm an auntie, I'm not, I'm not a parent, but I have a parent. And uh, when, when I was a child, my mom had to do a lot for me. And she still does. She's a great lady. But now that I'm an adult, I can do things for myself. It gives me a sense of independence. And it's kind of what God is doing with all of us. So... I would say the more you feel God leaving you alone, that's a good thing. It's because, it's because number one, he's not really left you because he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you and he's a God of his word. But it's, it's that he trusts you. He knows you can handle more. He knows you can handle it and he can... Uh, develop you in the dark room, in the dark places, through, through the dark times. And I know the dark times are not easy, but hold on, because it'll turn around. Uh, one of my favorite songs, um, it's kind of an old song now, but it goes, People are always God will perfect the fight that concerning me. Sooner or later, it'll turn in my favor. It's turning around to me. And the Lord would say to you today, he will always be like this. The Lord will perfect that concern in you. Sooner than later, it's gonna turn in your favor. It's turning around to you. And 
and the problems that you're facing now will be the solutions at your next level. And what I mean by that is um, sometimes when you're when you go through something now, um, it's to develop you for your next level. Um, to be transparent here for a moment, um, I went through some financial issues earlier, like uh, a few years ago, and coming out of those issues, now I know when I have um, the ministry when I have what God is going to do for me. Now I know financially how to handle that weight because of what I went through a few years ago. Now, if I hadn't have gone through that and I had gotten to this next level of running a ministry, running a film company, uh, running whatever God has planned for me, I would not know how to handle the weight of it financially. I would not know that, that I would need an accounting department or I would not know how to structure it. It's because I went through that little thing, not a little thing, but it's because I went through that uh, on a smaller scale in my personal life. Now, when it comes to ministry, I can say, oh, I need help in that area. I can't do it on my, on my own because I wasn't gifted for that. Um, so, so that's what I mean by tomorrow's problems could, could, tomorrow, to, today's problems could be tomorrow's solutions. Because the problem with money that I had yesterday would be, was developing me for the money I had to, um, de I would have to deal with in the future when it comes to my companies and running a ministry. Um, so guys, thank you so much. Bye. In one hour away to be like this God will perfect that concerning you